crisp almond meringue cookies and smooth creamy fillings. French macarons are sold in some of the most elegant pastry shops in France. In fact, I first learned how to make them in a French patisserie. One of the things I was most surprised about was how easy they are to make. In this video, I'll show you how to make the classic macaron along with a couple of simple fillings, a bright tart lemon curd and a creamy vanilla buttercream. Macarons are basically a flourless cookie. The basis for this dough is an almond flour and also confectioner's sugar. So what I have here is the almond flour and the confectioner's sugar that are sifted together. And then I also have egg whites. Ideally you want one day old egg whites. They'll definitely whip better if they're at room temperature. We also have granulated sugar. So we're gonna put the egg whites in the KitchenAid bowl outfitted with the whisk attachment. Get that going on medium speed. We're gonna beat the egg whites until they're nice and foamy. It'll take a couple minutes. You'll actually see the tines of the whisk making a little bit of a mark within the egg whites. Once you start to see the tines of the whisk in the egg whites, you're gonna add granulated sugar, a tablespoon at a time. So I'm adding a tablespoon of sugar, then I'm gonna beat for a minute, and then I'm gonna add another tablespoon of sugar. Keep going like this until you've added four tablespoons of sugar. Once all the sugar's added in, you want to whip it until it's really thick and glossy. It takes about four to eight minutes. Once the egg whites have been whipping for at least four minutes, take the egg whites out of the bowl with the whip and look to see this nice stiff peak. If there's any drooping in the peak, then you want to keep going with the whisk. So now I'm going to fold about half of the confectioner sugar almond flour mixture straight into the egg whites. You'll notice that the egg whites do start to deflate just a little bit, but don't worry about that. That's quite all right. When most of that has been folded in, I'm gonna go ahead and fold in the rest of the almond flour confectioner sugar. Be sure every now and then just to fold the sides of the bowl. A lot of times flour and confectioner sugar will gather there. You wanna make sure to fold it all entirely in. Beautiful. And now this is ready to pipe. So in order to make the best macaron, what you wanna do is start off with a really flat baking sheet and a really nice clean piece of parchment. If you don't, you won't get the nice pretty round cookies that you want. I have a piping bag here outfitted with a half inch tip. I'm gonna spoon some of the batter straight into my piping bag. You'll notice that I only fill the bag about half full. That'll help prevent some mess. Now in order to get really nice round circles, the easiest thing to do is to pipe straight down, perpendicular to the sheet, just like this. And then in order to get nice rounded tops, if you flick your bag just a little bit, you'll prevent that little peak that can sometimes happen. And then another way to help prevent the peak and also to get out any air bubbles is to wrap the baking sheet lightly on your surface just to flatten out the cookies a little bit. If you have a cookie that has a little bit of a peak, you can just go ahead and flatten them out with your finger. Just dip it in a little bit of water to keep it from sticking. Just give it a little tap. These will give the finished macaron a nice smooth top. Now we're gonna let these sit for at least 20 minutes. That will help the cookies to form a little bit of a crust. When they go into the oven, they'll poof up a little bit and you'll get that characteristic little dome shape. While the cookies are resting, I'm gonna turn the oven on to 325 degrees and preheat the oven. And then go ahead and check and make sure that the oven racks are in the lower third and the top third of the oven. So it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check these and see that they're ready to, to bake. Touch them with the tip of your finger and just make sure that they're not tacky anymore. Now these are ready to go. They're gonna go straight into the oven. And as soon as I put them in the oven, I'm gonna turn the oven temperature down to 300 degrees. After about eight minutes, you wanna swap the positions of the baking trays and put the bottom one on the top and the top one on the bottom. And now they're gonna bake for another seven to 12 minutes until they're very pale and golden on the top. So it's been about seven minutes, and now they're nice and golden brown on top. So I'm gonna reset the oven to 325, and when that comes back to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and put the remaining sheets back in the oven. You can see how these have developed that little foot that's very typical of the standard macaron. One of my very favorite fillings for French macaron is lemon curd. Lemon curd is a really nice, bright, tangy lemon custard that works really well with these cookies. 
I'm going to start by taking a half a cup of lemon juice, pouring that into a saucepan, along with three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to turn the heat on to about medium, medium high until the butter is melted and the lemon juice and butter mixture have almost come to a boil. While I'm waiting for that to heat up, I have three eggs and an egg yolk in the bowl. Now I'm going to whisk sugar into the eggs and egg yolks until the sugar and the egg yolks are well combined. When the butter and lemon juice have almost come to a boil, I'm going to whisk this into the egg and sugar mixture, just little by little. This is called tempering. It's basically combining two things of very different temperatures in a gradual way. If I put all of the eggs into the hot liquid, it'll shock them and you'll end up with little bits of cooked egg into, in your lemon curd. Once the lemon juice and butter are totally whisked in, we're going to go back to the stove. And now I'm going to cook this very slowly over low heat. You want to make sure that you continue to stir with a wooden spoon the whole time. After about three or four minutes, the curd will start to thicken. You'll notice that there's steam coming off the top. And then you'll also notice that there's a little bit of cooked egg white that's starting to linger on the bottom of my wooden spoon. The curd is ready when you can coat the back of a wooden spoon and draw a line through it just like that. Once the curd is cooked, we're going to run it through a sieve to capture any bits that are maybe a little bit overcooked or any eggshell that might have gone through. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract for some flavor. The vanilla really helps to round out the flavor of the lemon curd. And then a little bit of kosher salt. Just going to mix that right in. And now we're going to let it cool. Before putting it into the fridge, make sure that you cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap. And that'll help prevent a film forming over the top of the curd. So go ahead and take that plastic wrap and put it directly on top, just like that. One of the most versatile fillings for French macaron is buttercream. You can actually flavor the buttercream with many different flavors, but today we're just going to do vanilla. I start off by putting some water into a saucepan and bringing that to a simmer. And then I have two egg whites and half a cup of sugar. So you're going to whisk that in. I'm going to go ahead and use the stand mixer bowl that I have because it actually fits right on top of my saucepan. Once the whites and the sugar are well whisked together, I'm going to put this over my bowl of simmering water. You're going to leave this on top of the simmering water for about three or four minutes until the mixture is hot to the touch. And you're going to keep stirring it so that the eggs don't cook on the bottom. And you'll see that the mixture will go from being really frothy and white and it'll start to thin out and start to clear as the sugar starts to melt. Okay, now when I put my finger in, it's hot to the touch. It's nice and hot. Now I'm going to put this back onto the stand mixer and we're going to use the whisk attachment again. And we're going to whisk this on medium to medium high until the egg whites have cooled down. They're going to get really nice and light and fluffy and white. So after a couple of minutes, you'll see that the egg whites have become a really nice white meringue. But we're going to keep going until it cools down. We want this to be nice and cold. So after about four minutes, check it by poking your finger and just make sure that it's cool to the touch. You can see how pretty the meringue is right now. It's nice and cool. Now we're going to add one stick of butter. The butter should be really soft. And I'm going to add it bit by bit on low speed. You might see that it starts to curdle a little bit, but don't worry about that at all. Once the butter's all mixed in, we're going to turn the mixer back onto medium, and now the butter will be able to incorporate into the meringue. After a minute or so, stop the mixer and scrape the sides. And you want to make sure and get that all mixed in. So after about two or three minutes, you'll see that the butter has totally incorporated with the egg whites. And now we have this beautiful buttercream. We're going to flavor that with a little bit of vanilla and a pinch of kosher salt, and then turn the mixer back on to mix that in. And now we have this beautiful buttercream ready to pipe onto our macaron. Now comes the fun part, filling these French macaron with all the fillings that you've made. You want to fill your bag with the filling outfitted with the same tip that you used to pipe the macaron. Here we have chocolate ganache. This is vanilla buttercream. And this is that great tangy lemon curd. When the cookies are totally cool, you want to take them off of the parchment and then match them up by size so when you pipe with the filling, they're well matched. We're going to start with the lemon curd. You want to pipe about a tablespoon of filling onto the cookie. Leave a little bit of a border 
Now we're gonna go to the buttercream. And then we're gonna finish off with the ganache. And now you wanna sandwich the cookies. So take the second cookie, put it right on top, and smush it down just until the filling peeks out the sides. Now you can see why we left that exposed border. You can see that some of them are a little bit pebbly on top. The finer the grade of almond flour you use, the finer the tops will be. So if you have an almond flour that's a little bit rough, you'll see that the tops of your macarons are also a little bit rough. These cookies look wonderful. I can't wait to try one of these. Mmm. Oh la la.